sixth grade. I am going to read uh, some books to you. And so this is the first one I'm going to read to you for this week. And it's called Rachinka's Eggs by Patricia Polacco. And if you haven't read any of her books, uh, you should. She is a wonderful artist and illustrator, uh, author, and there are lots of elementary school teachers that absolutely adore her. And I love this book for Easter time. I am sad that I can't read to you my favorite books in person during this time of the year, but I can do this. And that's as good as we're going to get for right now. So this is called Roshenka's Eggs. Babushka lived alone in a dacha, a little house in the country, but she was known far and wide for the fine eggs that she lovingly painted. Her eggs were so beautiful that she always won first prize at the Easter festival in Moscow. Mm -hmm. I love the illustrations, the mix of pencil and color. Each day, Babuska would take the shell of an egg from her basket and paint it in wonderful designs using the shapes of the stars and flowers, triangles and circles through the long, cold winter Babushka painted. There she is. Then one day after a snowstorm, Babushka went outside. She could still hear the faint sound of falling snow. It was a sound like soft rain. Herds of caribou came to feed at Babushka's because the grasses they usually ate were covered with snow. A miracle, she whispered as she fed some. These wild things have found their way to me. Just then a flock of noisy geese honked loudly overhead. As they glided over the snow, one of them faltered and fell from the sky. Babushka went to where the goose lay crumpled in the snow. A hunter did this, Babushka grumbled. She carefully picked up the goose and took it back to her little house. There she fed the little goose from her own table and put the goose in her best basket lined with the warmest quilt from her own bed. I shall name you a good name, one that we both can like, eh, my little friend? She said as she patted the goose's little head. How do you like Rachenka? Yes, then Rachenka it shall be. With Babushka's care, Rachenka grew to be stronger sorry, Rachenka grew stronger as each day passed. To repay her kindness, Rachenka laid an egg for breakfast every morning. We've been getting goose eggs at our house and they are so big. They are like two and a half chicken eggs. They're really big and they taste very, very similar. I don't think that you could tell the difference if you didn't know. But I don't think I would put a goose in my finest uh, quilt because I've seen the kind of mess that they can make. As Rashinka got better, she waddled around the little house exploring every nook, cupboard, and corner. One day she jumped on top of Babushka's work table, overturning the jars of brightly colored paint that she used to color the eggs. Neat, Babushka screamed as she chased the goose with a broom. No, the frightened goose flapped her wings to get away and knocked over the basket of eggs that Babushka had so lovingly painted. The eggs crashed onto the floor and shattered into millions of pieces. They were both very sad. There was no reason now for Babushka to go to the festival. The next morning, Rachenka slowly, slowly got out of bed and trundled over to Rachenka's basket to get her morning egg. But when she reached into the middle of the quilt, she picked out the most brilliantly colored egg she had ever seen. A miracle, Babushka whispered. A miracle. Let's see what she pokes a hole and blows the egg out. That's how she gets the egg so she can paint them. She made small holes at both ends of the egg and blew the yolk and white into a dish to cook and eat later for breakfast. Then she held the egg up to the morning light and marveled at its beauty. After that, every morning for 12 mornings, there was another egg, each more beautiful than the one laid the day before. Soon Babushka had enough eggs to take to the festival in Moskva. 
How wonderful, she thought. A miracle has replaced the eggs that were broken. Mm -hmm. Spring is here, my little friend, Babushka said to Rachenka one morning, the morning of the festival. Soon you will be flying off to the north with your flock. She bustled to the hearth fire and brewed some of her most favored tea. The two shared a saucer of tea with Kulik, a sweet Easter bread. She covered each piece with pashka, a spread of cheese, butter, and raisins. They savored each bit together. One for you, one for me, Babushka chanted. Da, da, my little friend. I shall sorely miss you, but you are a wild thing. A miracle sent you to me. It would not be right for me to ask you to stay here with me forever. When Babushka left her little house, she took one last look at Rachenka sitting on the doorstep. She waved, then took determined steps for Moska, Moskva with the basket of her precious egg. She crossed Lebitov Valley where the caribou mothers were walking their newborn calves. A miracle, she thought. New little lives. A miracle. She crossed the bridge over the Moskva River and soon she could see the onion domes of old Moskva. Aren't those so cool? Those Russian, the Russian buildings, that Russian architecture. Look at that. The festival was bright and exciting. There were goat carts selling kulich, processions, dancers, jugglers, and laughing children playing and running. Babushka showed her old friends the eggs. Her eggs are the most beautiful in all Russia, they thought. Hmm. Look at them, the elder said. They almost glow, as if the paint is part of the shell itself. The judges picked up Babushka's eggs as the most beautiful. Babushka was so happy, she beamed as she looked at the first prize, a feather bed quilt. Mm -hmm. I just love the colors in this book. As Babushka made her way homeward, a honking flock of geese flew overhead. Babushka gave them a long, lingering look. She wondered if Roshenka was one of them. She is at home. This is her... her chamber pot for like going potty in the middle of the night not a lovely thing to think about but look at how they made them pretty um and it saved them having to go outside in the middle of the night there are places that still use those today because um because they don't have indoor plumbing and so they make it pretty when babushka arrived at her home that evening Rachenka was gone Alone, she put the new quilt on her little bed. She brewed a cup of tea, ate the last of the Kulik and Pashka, got into bed with her favorite book of poems, and drifted off to sleep. She hadn't noticed Roshenka's basket. But that night, Babushka was awakened from a sound sleep by an ever-so-small sound. It was coming from Roshenka's basket. She hobbled closer and saw a glorious egg. But this one was different from all the others. It quivered and moved. It made tiny muffled sounds. The egg jumped, bumped, rolled, and pitched in the basket. Then there was a crack, and Babushka could see the very special gift that Rachenka had left her. A miracle, Babushka said. And the little goose remained with Babushka always. <laughs> This book's pretty special to me because it's got this little signed um, piece put in here. I bought this book for like a dollar online, I think. Um, I'm going to take you and show you something. Ignore any mess that you see. The guys are playing music. But we have had some hatching. And so right now, so most of these eggs are... They've already hatched, and we have little babies. We have little baby ducks. They're not geese. But this one is hatching, and you can hear it making little noises in there. Sometimes we try to help them out a little bit just so that 
Because their mommies would help them a little bit if they were out being born outside with with a mommy. So these are little ducks. You can kind of see it coming out in there. I'll show you some of the other ones and then we'll have to be done. So here are the other ones. They were born uh, yesterday and today. This little guy over here, we're kind of worried about him making it, but seems to be doing better than it was. It wasn't getting up for a long time. So I love reading that story because it makes me think of those kinds of things that we um, do at our house, watching those miracles happen when we have um, new life and this special gift of this um, goose, Rashinka that she gave. Um, if we were at school, I would have us do an art project with the eggs. Um, I couldn't find enough oil pastels to be able to give you guys your own, but it's a fun project to try to, you know, just on paper even, to design some eggs. But if you can figure out a way to blow out eggs yourself, you just poke a hole in both ends and you blow on them, you can make um, some pretty little eggs like this if you paint them or use some uh, Sharpies or something. That would be pretty fun and I'd love to see them. All right, so I hope you liked Rochenka's Eggs by Patricia Polacco. I have a couple more of her books that I will probably be sharing with you soon. All right, bye!